You know why I'm out here, baby? The sign. Beware of alligators. <laughs> Do not feed. Hey, baby. <laughs> I bet they got some alligators up here now. <laughs> For sure. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yep. This is a nice size pond. It is. Does this one have a name? It's called the alligator pond. <laughs> They're all alligator ponds in South Oh, what was that alligator? All right, come on, let's go to the beach. I'm gonna see the beach. All right. You can touch them. Well, I don't want to spook them. What's that you want? Come on, be nice, be nice. There you go. There you go. There are sweet horses. Oh, that one's spicy. We need to get out of here. He's upset. He might be the reason that sign says do not enter. Pretty big river. Wow, look at that. Let's go see. Hey folks, it's Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. Good morning. We're coming to you today from this beautiful Bogachita State Park. Yeah, it's a beautiful state park. It's about 10 minutes south of Franklinton, Louisiana. We're actually sitting right here Bogachita. on the Bogachita River. Yeah, that's right. So stay with us and we'll do the campground drive through And during the campground drive through we are going to share with you some of the things that we've done in our stay here in the area. And after that, we do the site walk around. And we do this for every, every campground, campground, every, every site, site, every, every time. time. Here we go. All right, folks, here we are. Welcome to Bogue Chitta State Park, Washington Parish, Louisiana. A very, really pretty yep, campground. Very nice campground. Very nice campground. I'm very pleased. Me too. There's a lot to do here. We're going to share that with you, so hang on. Here we go. We're going to do the campground drive through the entire state park. The entire state park, mm -hmm. that's right. We're going to show you everything this one has to offer. I gotta show my parking pass. Look at that, Michael. Let me let that Ram 2500 with that uh, Ram box go. He's got some horses on there. Look at that. Yeah. We're gonna talk more more about that later. I just waved my uh, my blue pass, and they just gave me a thumbs up. Let me come on through. The nice folks working that uh, what do you call it? Their oh, main they office. are Miss Vicky. She was a sweetheart. Yeah, they're nice folks in there. Real helpful. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to try to go uh, with the with the campground. The, we could try to keep it sequ sequential, numerical order. Yeah, that <laughs> that. And they just, you can read that sign right there. It tells you where to go. Bogachita Horse Rentals. We're going to talk more about that later in the video. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That surprised us a lot. Yeah, I wish I'd have known ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. anyway, here we go. Anyway, I say that a lot, don't I? Anyway. The um the drive arounds all oh, it's just real nice. It's kinda hilly as you can see right here. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like Louisiana. No, it doesn't does at it? all. It feels it's, like North Louisiana. Right. Right. We're kinda, it's not really it's kind of pretty central. south there. Yeah. This is uh late February, so you can see the some of the trees are kind of bare. Did we say where the campground is? Bogachita? Oh yeah, you read this on. Yeah. Okay. And then I said it, yeah. 
All right, this is a kitty trail coming up here on the right. If you look on the right, you see the little fl flags waving. They mm -hmm. have a little concrete path for the kids, the little toddlers, mm -hmm. and it shows you little like East Blood bunnies and little animals. Yeah, it's very cute. I like and, that. And uh, you got a little spot right here you can take photos with. With the butterfly. Oh, you know what I'm just now noticing? What? Baby, watch out. They got alligators up in there. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how cute is that? They got an alligator up That looks like a friendly gator. All oh, you little young Cajuns want to come out this way and see an alligator? <laughs> there it is. Yep. All right, we're right about, we're, we're getting close to the, uh, the upland, the upland camping area. And uh, what you see right in front of us, the building, that's a little camp store. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, the name of it is the camp store. And they rent bicycles, mountain bikes, and you see those two uh, carts, they rent those. Mm -hmm. And they have, it's a camp store on the inside. They sell pretty much what you need for a weekend stay. It's An fine. ice cream. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about the ice cream. <laughs> so we're going to go in numerical order right here. And look at my map. Sites 1 through 46, upland, RV yeah. tent sites. So on the right is site 1. What is that? It says Camp Host. The host site has site one. one. On the right. And the next site is two. Mm -hmm. Nice long site for yeah. that big fifth wheel beacon. Yeah. Looks like they just repaved these roads too, so uh, that's yeah, nice. If you've been here before. To. Looks like they want to repave. Well, they're doing some kind of work. But the sites yeah. are all paved now. It wasn't like that the last time we drove through no. here. Uh, site three had just the truck in it, had that white truck in it. Mm -hmm. I think that right there's a site five with this other white truck. Mm -hmm. So four must be. And um, I might. Yeah, four is on your left, baby. So, yeah, number four is a nice long site. So I'm going to turn the camera a little bit to the right so we can at least favor one side. Yeah, you get an idea about how long they are. Um, so, anyway, that, that concrete, I mean, that spot with the gravel, that was site six. Mm -hmm. The empty site. Yeah. And this Raptor should be say, site eight. Nine. Oh, nine? The Raptor okay. was site nine. So seven and eight's on the inside yeah. of the loop, and so is the bathhouse. You want to stop, baby, and show them the bathhouse yeah, real quick from the front? It. The bathhouses at this facility, at this campground, are really oh, nice. Oh, our favorite kind. So, yeah, these bathhouses are really clean. Mm -hmm. um, so, you have a sink, a shower, and a toilet in each room, mm -hmm. so it's personal. It's very private, personal. yeah. And there's uh, rooms, there's bathrooms on each side of these facilities. Mm -hmm. And whenever you see a bathhouse on the map, they look very similar to what you're looking at right here. There are usually three rooms on the front and three rooms on the back. They're all new. Yeah. I mean, they're and not old at all. If you look on, your, on the map, the Upland has um, one right in the middle. Of course, Upland is full hookups. And that's where we are now. Huh? Yeah, this is the upland area. It's this full is the full hookups. hookups. Water, electric, sewer. All right. All right. Here's the, uh, the oh, George didn't... Run Trail. Turn that camera back again. I moved it a minute ago. Yeah, I think that's why the parking lot's over here where this outback is. That's the trailhead parking. Yes. Yeah. There's tenter tents up on the hill behind that camper. Yeah, the tenter, there's, a, I think, ten tenter tents mm -hmm. out here. That empty Total. spot is site number ten. It's big in the tent. Yeah, the bullet is site 11. And let's, this empty one here. 12. Site 12. They got some pretty designs right there on that. You have to pay extra for that. Uh, for, the special for the chalk designs. drawings? Yeah. For, Aww, <laughs> some kids, some babies having fun. The Geo fun. Pro is at 14. Now, the ones on the inside are shaded also, and they're new also. Yeah. You, I know y'all can't really see those, but they're long sites. Yeah. 17 was there on the right. This is 19 with this Allegro. Mm -hmm. And that one looks like it might be in full sun most of the time. Look at that pretty magnolia tree. Yep. Yeah. That pretty magnolia tree is right there by site uh, 20. Mm-hmm. And you see, they get a little bit closer together right here. That's 21, 22, and I'm going to guess 23 and 24 in this turn. 
Yep, 23. And the Rockwoods, 24. And the Gray Wolf. What's that sign on that side, baby? That one has the whole corner. Nice big sight on the inside. Let me I'll tell you what you have a look at that. Okay. So when you look at the map back here across from 23, it's like 26. 26 got a lot of room. A lot of space. A lot of space. You see here now these the sights are a little longer. It's like that's 29. That's empty. And this, this class A is at 31. They missed the plane of these magnolia <clears throat> trees because they're almost at every side or in between every side. And this Ram 2500 is at 33. Ooh, that's a pretty truck. Look how that, shiny and clean it is. I picked mine up. <laughs> Trey's always rubbing it in, showing off his red Ram. <laughs> Friendly folks. 35 is the uh, 3500. And that gravel spot right there is 37. It's a long spot. Yep. And there are tent sites at the end of these. Yeah. Some of these have a spot to put a tent. A little F-150 was site 39. A tent pad. Yeah, and uh, you're allowed a, a, a camper and a tent mm -hmm. at each site. Mm -hmm. Site 44 is this uh, paved one, this asphalt one. There is a playground back there behind site 41. Yeah, the Airstream was site 41. It's like 42 had a blue tint. Everybody's getting ready, getting ready to go home. Yep. And this other airstream is the last camp spot on the loop, and it's 46. Mm -hmm. All right. So that was one through 46, and this is called the Upland, right? Full yep. hookups. Upland, full hookups. There's another rail plane by one of wasn't there a little while ago. They're everywhere. I know. <laughs> okay, so then again, we're passing the camp store on the left with the bike rentals, and she will straighten it up. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be hard to see. And ice there. cream. Sometimes people go to the camp store for ice cream, and they leave with coffee cups. <laughs> I wonder who did that, <laughs> especially a coffee, coffee cup with a little red and white camper on it. With a little red and white camper on it. It's so cute. Maybe I'll show you all that in the outtakes or something. <clears throat> You can see this is a pretty, pretty park. Oh, it's it's very well spread out. You know, it's a, I think it was like 1,700 acres or something. You, so another cool thing about this campground is they uh, recently, I say recently, last few years, they have set it up so that you can ride mountain bikes out here. And I mean, really nice trails too. So if you, uh, if you like to do a little off-road mountain bike riding or, or bike riding, this is a nice place to come. You're about to see how popular it is. Yeah. It's a really cool setup they have back here. And there are restrooms on this this area with showers. So even after yes, you do right. all day long mountain biking, you can run and take a shower before you head back to the city or something. Yeah. Right there you have disc golf. That's oh, yeah. You, we haven't mentioned that I don't yet. Know. Yeah, they have disc golf out, disc golf out here. Yeah. Really nice disc you start, golf. Start golf trying to look toward the right side. You're going to see some mountain bike, mm -hmm. uh, some some bikers. Mm -hmm. I don't mean, you know, like bikers. I there's, mean, there's cyclists. All kinds of jumps and hills and ramps. I believe there's one that's six feet off the ground, isn't it, baby? The drop, six foot drop. That might be it down there. One of them. I watched some videos of those. That's crazy to me. <laughs> yeah. And don't Let's forget, see. you can rent bikes to get on this I'm, track with. I'm just going to turn the turn in a little bit. Yeah, let's show them a little an bit idea of this. Without without actually stopping, so that because yeah. that's a handicapped spot. Right? Yeah, it is. Let's just show it off a little okay, bit. There you go. See that one little fellow out there riding the loopy loops. But this isn't like the major no, the no. major ramps and stuff. So this is like the little kitty park. Yeah, area. this is just a bike park right here. But yep. I mean, you, you know, you're out there out in the woods riding on the yeah, bike. Yeah, you can trail. see the trails in the distance. Yeah, straight ahead, you can People see are some. on the trails. It seems like a pretty popular place. I mean, this is a Sunday, and the parking lot's probably half full already. I mentioned already. Angel this weekend. We should probably come out here just to ride our bikes. Yeah, he did. 
He wanted to go home and get them. I didn't even think. Yeah, I didn't even <laughs> think about bring. I'm not talking about the electric bikes. No, I'm about the mountain bikes. The mountain bikes. There's yeah. the, uh, the shower, shower and bathhouse right mm-hmm. there. Or the bathhouse, bathroom. bathroom with showers. Yeah. Same setup as I'm everywhere fired else. Up now, I'm pumped up. I want to go get the bikes. Same setup as the other loops. There's one room, and you go in. It's a bathroom and shower. Would that be hilarious so. if we came out here with our electric bikes? Yeah, no, we wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> and again, there's Whee. the disc golf. So there is a very uh, old cemetery up on the hill yeah. by the <clears throat> camellia flowers. Yeah. So camellia anyway, bushes. we we couldn't we couldn't pass this up without showing everybody that they do have this really cool that you know that oh, campground yeah. is set up really nice for uh, it is. mountain bikes or bike riding. And, and there's of course, some more disc, disc golf, golf in yeah. front of us. Frisbee players. Lots of activity out here today on this beautiful day. Oh my goodness, it's late February and it's about 70 degrees. It's yep. so pretty. Maybe we should come back out here one day when it's really nice weather, just ride our bikes. Get over yourself. <laughs> You're I'm, all, I'm, I'm over myself. I just can't get over how cool it is for the mountain bikes out here. He's been talking about the regret of not having a mountain bike yeah, the whole weekend. I have. We've done so many things. We have video to share with y'all, but yeah, we definitely hey, are going to bring our bikes next time. That's the shake your rag out section. Mountain bikes next time. Because I don't want to hear that the whole weekend if we come back. We should have the mountain bikes. We should have the mountain bikes. All right. There's another horse crossing. So there's a horse crossing trail right here, too. Yep. And then and this road right here takes you to the beach. Yeah, the tubing. Um, you, you park about maybe two or three hundred feet away from the beach and then you walk over to it. Of the river. Of the river. To the yeah, river, the which river. is our opening was on the river. Yes. So there is tubing too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look, here's one, the big pond, huh? Is that what this one is? That's that one of the say? bigger ponds. And we can say honestly that there are definitely alligators let me tell you what up in there i guarantee <laughs> they got some alligators up in there because we saw them didn't we yeah well we saw one i saw one alligator and it was only about five feet long it was sunning this morning though yeah out in the sun it's kind of a cool morning and this other fellow saw it too yeah we we're trying to get y'all some photos of it but the gator was not cooperating yeah, I think this is the prettiest lake right here, our pond. Yeah. There's two big ones. And then we saw a smaller one when yeah. we were hiking, remember? See, they got a little place to sit down mm-hmm. and enjoy it. And it looks like a canoe launch back there. Yeah. The moon actually comes up if you're sitting on that bench. You could actually see a moonrise or a sunrise. Well, we were here during a full moon, so that yeah. was special. River Overlook. Mm-hmm. There's some palmettos. Okay, we're getting close to the campsites for the bottom land. I think that's the dump station next, baby. Okay, we're not getting close to the campsites. <laughs> we're getting close to the to the dump station. Yeah. Which is Over right there, there. To the left. Mm-hmm. I was going to drive through that, but since they have a couple of folks Yeah, right there's there, two different dump stations Yeah, there's right two there. places you can, um, like you can unload your black and gray tanks. Because back here on the bottom land, parking, uh, camping sites, there's no sewer. There's no sewer connection. So, yeah. But you do have the dump station right there. Yes. It's very convenient. But I think the sites back here are a lot more private, though. I think so, too. Now, this is, this is, a, uh, this is one of the, the bathhouses for the bottom land, mm-hmm. and it's a nice and clean. It is. No problem. It has three rooms. Three rooms on the front, three on the back side, so there's plenty. Okay, so in the bottom land, you have a couple of separate loops, and here's one of them right here, and it's on West Swamp Maple Road. And this is actually where we saw the alligator at, in this so little pond right here. These are sites 101 to 135, yeah. so. so. We'll show that one on the way okay, out. Okay, we should see 101. So that's 101 where this uh, this gray vehicle is. Mm-hmm. On the right. Now, this Ram is the pond where we saw the gator. Did you say that already, Dad? I, I did. Okay, and, sorry. Uh, let's see if we can see him out there. I was reading Get my notes. Now. Dive up in that water and rest on me, a gator. <laughs> that's a bunch of talk, too. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I ain't wrestling nothing. <laughs> but you ride those mountain bikes. Yeah, it's a pretty... 
All right, and then uh, we got sights two, three, Not, four. No, 102. 102, 103. 103. 104. 104. There's 103 On this straight ahead. Yeah. If you get 103, it's, it's, it's very short, but you do have a, a little water spot. There is a tent pad yeah. there, but you can RV or tent to any side at this campground. State that park. ram right there, that spider ram. 104. That's a, spider ram. That's a Decepticon. And that one's uh, that one with that Jeep Gladiator was 105. And here's 106. It's like kind of like a pull through where you just parallel park on the side of the road. Yeah, a cul de sac. Now we're yeah. only showing woods right now. So. Mm -hmm, I know. Okay. Look at the woods. <laughs> And then we're coming up on on uh, the last one on this section here is 107. 107. And you can see, maybe you can barely see, there's a little tent pad back there too. Mm -hmm. So directly opposite of this loop is another section. You have to cross over Bochino Road or Boulevard. And keep in mind, this area is prone to flooding. What site is well, it says here? flash oh, flooding. So where this red Mazda is, there they have a tent, and at site one thirty-five. And straight ahead is another pond. Yeah. What's the site to the left right here, baby? Our site number? to the left is site 134. And oh, it's now we, nice. Yeah, it is a nice. It's very it private, nice no neighbors on the inside. Yeah, it is kind of nice. It's pretty long, 134 too. is like, a good one, guys. Looks like maybe it's about 60, 80 feet long. But this one we said was one of our favorites. Yeah, that's uh, 133. 133, 133 is, is real nice. Really it's nice. really long, and you mm -hmm. have a, a, some water behind you. Mm -hmm. so it's on the water, and there are no neighbors. And this is 132 on the right side. And this black 150 is 131. And those are real near the restroom facility. Those yeah. two sites that we just called out. And right here you have this parallel parking sites. It's 130, 130. Mm -hmm. And 129 is on the opposite side. They didn't One, see any of 129. Just the so 129 you know. has water. Well, it's on the pond. It's on the pond. Yep. I'll talk about that one when we pass it All back right. up. This is our loop. This is the loop we're this on. This is where we are. Do you see what it's catching? Like half I, the road in I this I do, side? but I don't want to okay. keep turning them. Okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure you know. Yeah. Okay. So the Escape is uh, 135. <laughs> I mean, 125. Site 125. Oh, my gosh. Michael. It's a nice camper. And here's the prettiest camper in the whole campground right, coming into the view. They all, oh, man, you can't even see it. Hang on, i got to swing wide for that. <laughs> you couldn't even see it. I told you it's because the camera's angled in a weird place right now. Man, I just dropped 127. That's run 27. <laughs> I'm going to do a sight walk around yeah, the, after all this. After the drive through we always do a yeah, sight walk around. So he's going to show you the details of our site. Now, this site over here stayed empty for the first couple of days that we were here, and we wish we had reserved this one, yes, right, 128. Michael? 128. I wish I'd have got 128. Look at that blooming maple tree. 128 has a creek on the other side it where does. the awning is. It does. And it looks picturesque. It's really pretty. And look at that pretty camellia. That's a huge camellia. Yeah. It, it's, it's very tucked in the woods back there on 128. It's not. <clears throat> and these are two buddy pull-throughs. Mm -hmm. 126 is where the White Hawk is. And the Outback is parked in um, 124. The site right over here we're coming up on. At first, I, I wasn't too crazy about it, but when I saw the, the saw the fellow that was camping there, the family that was camping there, it's really nice. It it's is. site 123. You got a little beach right there, mm -hmm. right outside your awning. Mm -hmm. You have that pretty creek right there, There's and it's kind of tucked away. You don't have anybody really bothering you. Can we just turn it and show them the pond? Yeah. Because our beach access is right across the road from this pond. Yeah. And then, so there you get it. So this is another pretty, very pretty pond. They're supposed yep. to have alligators in here too. 
All I right. Seen any so of we this. actually parked right here. Okay. Let me move out this part's way. Yeah, we parked right there, and there's beach access right across the street from that. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you some footage of that. We did a really nice hike along the Bogachita River, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, it, it, it was real nice. Here's one of the little streams that uh, drains out to Ochita River. You see this little cluster of cypress knees right here? Look at that. And you look out there, there's a little bridge. And out there, that's go to the river in the background. So nice. Again, another thing about this campground that really surprised me, the, the, the trail system out here. I think you have about seven miles worth of trails. We, there was a, a group tenting, there was some tenters out here at uh, Site 121. It was, like I think it was Girl a Girl Scout. Scouts or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Girl Scout tree. They were down here. They were there too. and uh, right here in this spot. And all that's... I wish they could yeah. see that, but I guess I'll show them that in our video, our footage that we got. And, uh, yeah, it was just such, such a nice experience here. Yep. Lots of hiking trails. There's one hiking trail that goes around the entire That's right. it's, it perimeter, it, the yeah. whole park. It's referred to as the main loop, and I think it's five and a half miles. Is it a gorge So here's trail? the last, last little uh, section right here, and that the sites start at, 108 and it go up to 118 and again these are uh in the bottom land there are no sewer connections so on the right i'm gonna turn it turn the camera one way or the other I'll turn it to you because we got a bathhouse the exit only do not enter <gasps> are you kidding me right here <laughs> i'm not paying attention you gotta go. Hey, you They're gonna the run way. me you off. You gotta no, go that no, way. Come on. Way. I promise you, it's the other way. All right. You say so. I say so. I mean, the good thing is most people have cleared out. So, yeah. and you see the pond. A little bit. So a little bit of the pond. Angel's all about showing off the water. Michael's like, let's show them every campsite. And I'm like, the water's pretty. <laughs> The campsites are pretty. I know. They need to know to pick a spot, <coughs> right? right? They need to see the sites. So okay. now I'm going in the proper way. And this will be 108 to 118. Yes. And that's a host site right there. Mm -hmm. And straight ahead where this white ram is, this white 1500, that's the handicap spot. Mm -hmm. On this loop. Yeah. And I'm going to look to see if it has a sewer connection to it. I don't think so because it's right next to the bathroom. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I that's why any, they put it there. I don't see anything. So there's the bathhouse, and that one's really clean. Mm -hmm. All of them are really clean. This one is unique because it has an overlook in the back that overlooks the pond. It sure does. And uh, we were looking for alligators back there, too. Yep. Didn't see any back there, but. I'll let you see this big rig. That's a nice long site right there. Yep. What number is that one, babe? 111. 111. Go back this way. This empty one right here. I like the campgrounds that have the site numbers near the road. An empty one is site 112. Mm -hmm. I like the flags though. That's a nice touch. Yeah, it is. Right. And this other empty one here on the left is 113. Mm -hmm. There's a big site on the inside of this loop. Yeah, they got a they got a whole big corner spread out. That one there is site one fourteen. Yeah, These are nice sites. Over they here. are. Look, look, at look how long this one is, man. You can put two rigs on that one. Mm -hmm. One fifteen. One fifteen is they super are long. Water and electric only. Though. There's yep. no sewer here, but yeah, there's a long. long yes, this is one eighteen, which is a nice, nice size. And I'm guessing the one that we just popped passed by was 116. Yeah, 116 has on a lot of loop. it has a lot of stuff on the end it's of, huge. in the back of it. You have a lot of room for tents and spread out. Yeah. Lots of room. Alright, so so that's the last last section of the bottom land. So you saw the upland, 
uh, RV camping and the Bottomland RV camping. And I'm about to take a left turn and we're going to show you the day use area and then we're going to get over to that uh, horse area. All right, we're coming from the bottom land, and we're going to go to the day use area. But if you want, you can take this little right section right here and go off road a little bit, lock <laughs> up the hubs, and maybe make a big splash. <laughs> Woo! Didn't see any of that on camera. Darn it! <laughs> maybe they heard it. Maybe so. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna have to go I back. I think you made him nervous. That young the dog man. looked like I want to go with that guy. He's having fun. <laughs> Anyway, there is a bridge crossing right there. You don't need to do what Michael just did. I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to turn the camera next time. I think we got it. We got it. Let's go to the <laughs> splash pad. Do some real splashing. So I think right around here is where the Watch people are baby. starting to go fishing. By the road. Hey, that's where we came out of the trail, right there. We came out right there. We did. Yeah, we and we crossed out, the and road. And we crossed the road and we went to the, the day splash use area. Pad. Yeah. We went to the public area. If you take a right, right here on this gravel road, that takes you to uh, one of the river beaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful back there. We're not going down it's there. a bigger river than I thought it was. I was very surprised. Look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. So this is the day use area. Yeah. Another pond. People fishing. I think we were told, Miss Vicky said you could catch the rainbow trout right now, right? She sure did. She, she told said us that can, when we first got they here. They stock it with rainbow trout. They are they're mm -hmm. good for the first first part of the uh, of a uh, spring, early spring, late winter. After that, the water starts getting yeah. too warm. So I'm guessing this is another bathhouse. Mm -hmm. And we came over here this part yesterday, didn't we? We did. We when we were on the trail, the trail led us over here okay. to the splash pad. It was, it wasn't this one, it was that one. No, it was a different yeah. pavilion. Oh, it's a sign. <laughs> I don't believe it. Every time we go somewhere and they have a sign that says, beware of the alligator. There's no alligators ever. I don't see, I see signs. <laughs> beware of the alligator sign. But there are party pavilions back here, too, that you can rent, I'm sure. Yeah, we discovered this part when we were on the hiking trail and this from the is, river. Uh, yeah, I think this is all pretty new. Okay, so we just came from over there by the splash pad. You can see the water in the distance. And check out this. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? We're going to get in Michael's shot. Are you really in Not one alligator. Not even one. Not even one. But there's warning signs. There's warning signs everywhere. <laughs> I guess all it takes is one. You can hear the playground and the splash pad in the distance. You look in the distance, you see a splash pad mm -hmm. and um, a bunch of pavilions back here for parties and family gatherings. Yep. You can't you see the do. playground. Are you, but you, we're about to see the playground. <laughs> My wife wants me to make sure we show off the playground. Well, that's important to families uh, with small important. children. Not, you got to have a playground bit. equipment. I'm absolutely I mean, agreeing with every you, Grammy. 100%. Every Grammy knows you got to show up the playground. <laughs> Every and it's Grammy shaded. knows. So anyway, yeah, you can see there's a big cover over the mm -hmm. swings playground. and stuff like that. And you have little uh, areas for the adults to sit and chat. And barbecue up. if you want to. There's yeah. barbecue pits. It's really a pretty park. Mm -hmm. And to your right on the screen right now, that's another bathhouse. And they probably have showers in there, I would think, since the splash pad is connected to it. Yeah, right there. What there do you think, go. baby? There we go. Yeah, right. I'm sure they Turn do. Around, go back the other way. All right, you see the pond in the distance. We're fishing. Yep. Y'all, this this state park has it all. This is a Louisiana state park, Bogachita. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed. 
I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This, Just straight up. Yep. Um, it's near Frankleton, and we'll show you more about that in a minute, but yeah. see some more of that, that lake over there. Thank you, you Barry. See the, the playground from this Yay, view. Yay, that's a shot I wanted people right to see there. with the water. So when we get up, yeah, we turn the low more. That's Once cool, Once we get up right? in that shade, and get that glare off that lens. Mm -hmm. Very nice. There you go. Check that out. It's a huge splash pad area. Hey, man, you, you come out here with your kids for three or four hours, they're going to sleep that night. They're going to be worn out. You know what it reminds night. me of? It's not quite as big as Palmetto. Remember the splash pad at Palmetto? Yeah, that was a big one. I'll put a link to that one above if y'all want to check that one out. But it's another great Louisiana State Park. I'm so proud of us in the state of Louisiana. We do a really good job. Yeah, we do. Right. Unfortunately, I didn't have the camera on when they had a group of mountain bikers passing by. It <laughs> would go with the mountain bike yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. What are we coming up on here, Michael? To the uh, to the horse stables. The equestrian. The, the equestrians. Parking and horse I mean, rentals. To me, it's easier to say horse. I know. it is equestrian. I know, but you know, we got to call it what it is. All right. This is the Boga Chitta Horse Rentals. There yes. you go. Equestrian Trail. Steed Way Esquirian Esqu Trail. Equestrian. <laughs> and you see there's a bathroom right there to the left. Yeah, that's another nice clean bathhouse right there. Mm -hmm. And here's a, a pavilion. Yeah, a pavilion for chitting. Oh, look, we see some horses coming in. All right, awesome. And uh, yes, there are campsites right here. And they're full hookups. They're full hookups mm -hmm. for the uh, Esquestian people. Equestrian. <laughs> <laughs> so goofy. Is that a random one? And, uh, hold on. These no, trucks forward. and horse trailers that you see, we did talk to Dusty. And Dusty said, you can bring your own horse here and ride the trails and you park here unload your horse if you want to camp here you can put your horse in the stalls that you're looking at in the front and um it's three dollars per rider and three dollars per horse if you bring your own horse there's some people yeah something about like to that. get on the trails no not something like that that's the price and then um they also do trail rides dusty will tell you all about that because we had a nice little interview with him didn't we yeah Michael? we did nice guy real nice, real guy. nice guy and we and so my name's Dusty. I'm one of the owners slash trail boss. It's mainly my dad. It's mainly okay. his business and okay. I'm kind of the number two, I guess. Um, but we've got over 15 miles worth of horse trails here in the park. We break them down as far as the horse rentals into a one hour ride, a two hour ride, or a half day ride, which is about four hours. Oh, wow. And so we go all over, we have different terrains. We have over 400 feet of elevation change inside the park on oh, the horse wow. trails, oh, which good. is very rare. That's for fun. <laughs> And so that adds a lot of excitement to the ride. You're going up steep hills, down steep yeah, hills. Yeah. On the two hour ride, you really get into the swamps, a lot of cypress trees all around oh, you, a lot nice. of backwater and things like that. So you, it's a really pretty ride. You cross uh, any creeks? What's that? You cross any yeah, creeks? Cross we any do any cross a creek on the one hour ride. Okay. Or the half day. Half day, we take the two hour ride and the one hour ride plus. It's got a little extra bit we can do. We can ride down close to the river, uh, but it takes about two hours to get all the way to the yeah, river. So what does nice. that cost? Um, the different uh, like, I mean, different trail rides. The one hour ride we do for about fifty dollars a person. Um, three and under ride for free. Five and under ride inside or with a parent. Six and over ride their own horse. We have somebody that's a little nervous. We take a lead rope to hook to their horse, and then one of our guides has okay. the other end. That way we oh, have that's control good. of their fall. We get that with a lot of little kids, yeah. kind of nervous. Halfway through the ride, they realize they're just going to walk a nice, calm horse, and yeah. we'll unhook at that point, and they'll have full ride. Oh, yeah, the built up. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, good. We've done it with adults. We've had adults that were very, very nervous. We hook a lead rope to them, and we lead them to get them started to show them how easy and calm it is. And there's a couple different places on the trail where if somebody's just totally freaked out, not having it, we can turn around and come back. 
Okay. Do you allow that. like a gallop? You allow we do not experience riders to take we off do a little not. bit. Now all these trailers out here, these are people that are bringing their horses. Right. They can ride the trails however they want. If is they it want to gallop? They can. Is there a cost to bring your own? Horse it's in? three dollars a person. Oh, okay. Three dollars a horse, and you oh, can okay. come in as early as the gates open at seven. Oh, and wow. You know, got to be out by dark. Oh, that's awesome. Um, now the new campsites over here. This is the Equine Campground. So people that have living quarters horse trailers, a camper in the front, a horse trailer in the back, they can hook up over here okay. and spend the whole weekend. And then these stalls just got built last week. And so oh, they wow. can rent a stall. Nice. The stall. So they can come out on Friday night, get their horses. They can camp all weekend long with their horses. So And, and that camping spot right there, that's just for folks with horses. Well, it's designated equine but anybody that books the spot can book there just as long as you know there's going to be horses in and out of here is there a price difference on. to get a spot right here i don't believe Compared so that the... goes through the state oh, okay that was my next question. Okay. okay um so all the campsites go through the state directly okay. through the state park okay uh we are a subcontractor so we don't determine the okay. price yeah, of okay. we were thinking like you know we have some family members that we want to come camping and once we saw this we thought we could stay right here and ride yeah. We have several people do that. Okay. The only time it becomes an issue, we have a lot of kids with bicycles out here. When you've got horses coming in and yeah, out, yeah, we would. It do can that. get a little dangerous. No, nah, we're not like doing that. that. No, we wouldn't do but, that. But um, yeah, anybody who goes online and books the site can book the site. We can't tell anybody you can't camp okay. there because okay. as soon as somebody books that site, we say, "I'm sorry, you can't camp there." Yeah, then we we're opening the door for a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah. If we so book it and here, but horses, horse ride some horses. Yeah, exactly. horses aren't. And required it's to park equine campground right so if you book a site there you know you're booking what you right yes, we awesome. have a granddaughter we're actually all three of the grandbabies um our son's children went on the vacation with us to grand tetons and we love the trail ride that was one of our highlights of our trip was the horseback riding in the grand tetons you, know, you ride horses so and but if you ever, yeah if you ever get a chance to ride horses. oh it's I love beautiful going places. I, oh, the only thing so i don't beautiful. like is when my friends call and say hey we're going to boba to go ride today you want to ride now <laughs> <laughs> if they call and say hey we're going to alabama to go ride yeah, well that's ride different you want to go i'm in let's yeah. go yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay well good well thank you for all the information of course we took some roll before y'all came back off the trail Absolutely. so we could get your phone number and the signs and all that it's Dustin. either one on paper it's dustin everybody's always called me dusty okay so take dusty. It um it's kind of appropriate for a trail name right <laughs> good cowboy um, name horse yeah. rentals is our website people okay. who uh want to trail ride go to our website they reserve their ride and everything online okay. pick their day pick their time and then we have the horses ready when they get here does it um do you get like if you want to a group to go mm -hmm. if you have 10 us and our family i think we have total nine that really yeah, love your horses like is there like a discount for bigger groups we do 10 percent off for 10 or more okay uh so if you have that's like the group that just left is a group of girl scouts okay there's actually 19 of them so that was that was nine of them or okay. i'm sorry there's 17 of them that was nine of them we've got seven more that are about to pull up okay uh, that are part of that same group but we split them into two different okay. rides. And what would the charge be like per person for a 10 or more grade? 45 a person. Okay. Uh, okay so it's good. 10%, it's yeah, 10% off. Uh, so that cuts $5 off every rider. Okay. Uh, so it's $45 a person, but when you get up to 10 people, you know, you're talking about one person rides for free, basically. Gotcha. Yeah. Is the idea. And I'm assuming because you have that availability, for big groups that if we wanted like the two of us to just take a trail mm -hmm. with just you just a trail a trail guide we have private ride options okay now the private ride options and the longer rides you have to call to reserve those we of don't course. have them online just because it gets too confusing okay um but we have a private ride option that's 70 a person okay and that guarantees that it's just your party and a trail guide okay unless you have six or seven something like that we have one trail guide for every five riders oh, okay that's kind of that's our good goal. to so know one at the yeah. front and one at the back that way anywhere in between we want to get lost exactly okay. And do you do trail rides during the week or is it just a weekend? We will during the week if we have at least four or more that want to ride. You okay. have to call and reserve okay. that. And that depends on our availability too. Right. We also have a rodeo company, a Wild oh, West show company. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, we have full-time jobs. So to ride during the week, we have to kind of coordinate some okay. different gotcha. things. We gotcha. bring the horses out on Friday. They stay here Friday, Saturday, and either Sunday afternoon or Monday morning, they go home. We oh. got 75 acres of grazing oh, land wow. at home. Oh, that's so awesome. So we take them home and we let them graze during the week. So, I'm asking where's home? 
Home local. is Thomas, Louisiana, about 20 minutes up the road, kind of between okay. Franklinton and Bogalusa. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Nice. It's one of those small towns where if you blink, you miss it. <laughs> I grew towns. up in one of those towns. Right. But you have enough property for the horses. That's, that's right. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's right. We have plenty for them. We have about 30 head. They look very guys. healthy. Every one of them. Um, our feed bills run in about $700 a week uh, to feed all 30 head of horses. Wow. I saw any chickens don't cost chicken that day? much. No, we have chickens. Oh, year funny. round? Oh, we are open year round. There's probably about three weekends a year that we're closed. Okay. okay. Um, other than that, we're open pretty much year round. Now, during the summer, we ride early in the morning till noon, and then at noon, we're done. Yeah, because so it heats. Humidity. Awesome. Um, but during the spring and the fall are our busiest times. Uh, so bet. we're just getting into our busy season for the spring. It'll die down mid-June, and then it'll pick back up in September, okay. October, November, all the way Great. to December. Spring. I did just think of another question. Mm -hmm. Those all-day rides that you do, I'm sure you have a spot where you stop for lunch or something right here. during the day. Okay. Uh, it's a four-hour ride, and so we basically ride two hours in one direction, and it's kind of like a figure eight type okay. ride. We come back. And so if we need to stop, sometimes people want to stop so they can get off, go to the restroom, right. grab a quick sandwich, and then we'll get back on. Okay. We don't allow a, you know, a 30 minute break or an hour break or anything like that. Okay. We just, if y'all need a quick break, we can take one real quick. They'll chug a bottle of water, go to the restroom, okay. and then we'll get back on. And we'll go to the other side of the park, which goes by the Upland Campground, and then it goes down into the swamp, goes right next to the river. Oh, Sounds nice. Like and they do, yeah. Up yeah. and down elevations. Yeah, we went and took a little bit of a trail just hiking this morning by the river it was beautiful over there and so yeah it's good to know that y'all do that too yeah this is so great man y'all got a nice setup it's right. really nice it's really it reminds me of when we went to wyoming you come over here and it's all set up really similar it's just great i love it yeah well, thank y'all yeah, so much it, right. we appreciate thank it thank you thank you so much right. Dusty. absolutely thank y'all So we talked to that guy probably for a good five or ten minutes. Oh, he ten was minutes. name dropping right celebrities. There. Yeah, that's him right yeah, there. Yeah. him in the hat. Yeah, he said he's been in movies. Mm -hmm. He's famous. Oh, look, we got Tinter Tents back here. Yeah, they're the Tinter Tents. So yeah, you don't have to have a horse or keep a horse to rent these spots. These are the E spots, but they're not on the map. They, yeah, I'm sure they would see, they're, they're ideally for uh, the folks that have horse trailers. Right. But it's not required. No, it's not required. The state doesn't require that you have a horse to stay on this loop. So yes. if you have a group and you're interested in horses and you want to take a trail ride, there you go. You, you can camp stay right, right here. That's mm -hmm. right. Again, another thing about this campground that just blew my mind. Yep. Now we we've mentioned all the trailheads out here and places to go camping. Right up here, you're gonna see there's a nice size parking spot for the uh, lower gorge area. It's the lower trailhead. gorge trailhead area. It's a mm -hmm. good parking spot. Um, I don't I don't believe that the hiking for any of this is, is anything more than moderate at, at best. Well, the gorge is pretty steep. Yeah. I think he said it was whenever Dusty was talking about the trailer ride that goes down the gorge. Yeah. It's a 400 foot elevation. 400 feet elevation gain, yeah. Gain. You see, well, here's where all the parking is. Mm -hmm. This is for hiking. Mm -hmm. All these folks here are hiking and bike and cycling. Mm -hmm. I don't know that they let you take bikes on that trail, though. That's one that goes almost straight down. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be fun. Yeah, so look into that. If you're a hiker, there's something to do here. If you're a mountain biker, there's something to do here. Oh, if you love to ride horses. That's banking for bikes, for mountain bikes right there. So they put a lot of mountain bikes on that. Okay. So anyway, that is the, the loop. Yep. Um, we're going to take a right, which takes you out of the campground. To the exit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can see how close the, uh, the trailhead parking is. And the equestrian. Yep, it's right there. Both to, of that's right the there. The horse rentals is right there. Man, I, I, if you live if you live close enough to this place, I would definitely suggest coming out here. Or not. It's worth a long trip to get here. Yeah, it's worth a long <laughs> trip to get here. So anyway, we really we're leaving it. the campground, and we're going to Franklinton. Well, we've been to Franklinton, but this is 
You turn in off of... Highway 25. Highway 25. Yeah. This way? Yeah, that way. There you go. Hold on. Yeah, that's pretty. There's that river. And there you are. Back in Franklin. All right, here we go. So yeah, there's a Winn Dixie. We went there and got ice and yeah. charcoal. Oh, this right here is about ten, about ten minutes away from the campground. Yeah, real close. Camellias everywhere. They're so beautiful this time of year, late February. <clears throat> we love looking for these uh, these older houses when we, we come do. to these little towns. And the big magnolia trees. Yeah, look at that huge one left. right there. Yeah. So this road goes right into the fairgrounds. Yeah. Where the uh, Washington Parish Fair, it, straight ahead. It's a free fair. There's no price of admission. You just, it's free and open to the public. Yeah. I think it's in October. Yeah. Mr. Mike told us yesterday there that. It is. October why 16th to the 23rd. Where it's a free fair, he said, they get you with the food, though. They yeah. get you. 112th annual. So 112 years they've been having the Washington Parish Free Fair. We have some more footage of this that we can share. What do you think, babe? I like it. Look at these old buildings. Mile Branch Settlement. That's all the buildings that are in the village. Let's see if we can get a little bit of these. You can see the old log cabins. So during the fair, you'll see people in, you know, period costumes, doing things like um, blacksmithing and cooking and sewing and I'm sure churning butter and things like that. So it's an experience. You can just get immersed in it. That's kind of cool, right? Mount Hermon School since 1885. These old buildings. Engine 72. Here we are. All right, folks, we're back into the campground. That was the campground drive through mm -hmm. And just one second, and I'm going to give you the site walk around. Detailed site walk around. I'm going to give you the detailed <laughs> site walk around. All right, folks, here's the site walk around 127. It's the bottom land loop. This is a pretty secluded spot. Got, we got a lot of room. Let me back out. I'm going to go all the way to the street. Whoops. Sorry about that. All right. Let's see. So you start backing in. Nice, long sight. We still probably have um, five to eight feet behind the camper we could back up. It's pretty quiet out here. Just come on in. That's what's on our awning side. It's an asphalt pad. It's pretty. It's pretty level. Um, side to side, I probably could have used a little bitty block, but decided not to. It's not too bad. Front to back is pretty good. Let's see, there's some neighbors right there. Little cul-de-sac we're on. We're all the way at the back side. The weather this weekend has just been unbelievable. If there's any kind of weather you pray for to go camping, this weekend was it. So there's your hookups right here. No sewer connections on the bottom land. I think I think one of the um, handicap sites has it. There you go. And there's your water connection right there. 
And uh, something Angel and I didn't care too much for was the uh, fire pit is a little closer to the road. We thought maybe it could be a little further in the back, but uh, there's a little tent pad back there, barbecue grill. You got a place you can hang your trash or your, uh, I don't know, whatever. What is what that hook for anyway? I've always figured it was just trash. Anyway, here's our awning view. I don't know if you can hear the wildlife. Got a lot of birds singing. The traffic on this loop is really light and pretty quiet. You see the deck is a, probably could use replacing in the next year or so, but it's pretty sound for us. Show off some stickers. Come on on the outside. They say there's alligators out there, but uh, I haven't seen any. I think they run. They see me coming. They just know I want to see an alligator out there. You don't have a whole lot on this side. Good thing the deck's there. It'd be a drop off. The you have, I have AT and T. The self service isn't real good, but uh, Angel's Verizon is good. They do have site uh, campground Wi-Fi. We don't use campground Wi-Fi's, but uh, they do have it available. And if you have a satellite dish, you want to put it out here. Uh, right now, our campers facing north northeast. So, wait a minute. Did I say that right? No, I'm sorry. North northwest. That direction there is north north is north. Sorry. Well, anyway, let's see. This is what we see walking up right here. We like it. This has been a real nice campground. I'm sure you heard us talk about that already. It's just been real relaxing. Got a lot of hiking trails out here, uh, mountain bike trails. You have a lot to do out here. You could spend a good solid two full days out here. I'd say at least two full days to really enjoy this campground. And there's Jilly. I don't want to talk to the camera. <laughs> oh, we've been thinking about coming out here a few times and finally, I'm glad we finally made it. You know, we can share it with y'all. So if you're ever on the fence about it, you'll know. And you know, Angel and I love doing these campground drive throughs That way we can share information with y'all. And you can share it with other people. We'd like to help y'all. So share our videos if you know somebody that's considering this place. It's really, really nice. And you can sub subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more of our videos. Hit the like or notification and all of that good stuff. Make some comments. Let us know what you think about it. <laughs> and don't forget, we do this for every campground, every site, every time. Happy trails and happy camping. Things I get myself into. <laughs> ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Test mic, test, test mic, 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 test mic. Mic test. <laughs> mic test. Mike's mic test. Mike's mic test mic. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay, so where are we? Wait, you sound like Jeremy. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> This is Mike and Angel with Retro RV Recon. My friend Jeremy would just love to know I was imitating hey his everybody. voice. Hey, everybody. Another red truck All right, here we are now. <laughs> he's so awesome. I know he's I awesome. love watching he and uh, I'm in Amanda, yeah. Amanda's videos. They're hey, so everybody. Cute. I love that. I love yeah. that. Hey. Somebody left their camera. <laughs> Hey, baby, what you doing? Drinking out of my special cup. What's that cup say? Home is where you park it? How about that? Very awesome. Cute cup. It's a very cute cup. It matches the camper. How about that? Nice. Have fun storming the castle.